why. All right, there you go. There's the beginning of the sideshow, the podcast with Fernando and Greg. We just uh, completed before we started doing the sideshow. We just got done with an interview with Justin Bieber. Is that what you call it? An interview? An interview, yeah. It, it was, was really, really deep. Well, it was a really strange interview. Justin. Hi, Justin. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's Justin. Justin. Hey. <laughs> Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, that's good. All right, well, we just wanted to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, how's the movie going? It's uh, actually been incredible for you. Yeah, it's been great. We're just uh, hanging out. Hope you know the the movie. We're waiting for the movie, and we're we're all excited. Yeah. Well, I have Not- to apologize. The first time you came in here when we met. We did that interview. You probably don't even remember. I did not realize that I was in the presence of a legend. I was making fun of you like you had broken your leg and all this stuff, and I was making fun of you. Now I, I feel bad. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Now you don't need to forgive him. It's okay. You can. I mean, if you have some pent-up anger, it's okay to release it. <laughs> you know, I'm definitely doing all right about it. Uh, hey, I was I wanted to ask you a couple things. Now, this movie is uh, it's the fan cut. So basically, if everybody's already saw the one that originally came out, what's going to be different about this new one, the fan cut of Never Say Never? Well, it's got four, 40 minutes of extra footage stuff that people have never seen. So I'm really excited. There's going to be a lot more with me and my fans and stuff. So we're all excited. So if, there, if, so if, if someone's a real big fan of yours, they may see themselves now in the new footage in this movie? <laughs> Exactly, maybe. So you got to go out and watch it and see what's going to happen. Well, i got to say, uh, I also, in addition to your movie, you're quite the stud on the basketball court. I watched you play in the Celebrity uh, All-Star game. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. you would have had you had four assists, but you would have had more if those knuckleheads could have knocked down some more shots. Exactly, right? Yeah. Did you, uh, did you play a lot of basketball growing up, or are you more of a hockey guy because you're Canadian? I was more of a hockey guy, but I play. I play, you know, basketball as well. Yeah. Did you? Um. Uh, so, <laughs> here's what else is actually that I just read about you. Can we talk a little bit about Selena? We wanted to ask you about these flowers. Did you really cover her whole house in flowers? I mean, let's, I mean, let's, we're here to talk about the let's talk about the movie. No, you don't. Want... <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you like about the movie? I like the, I like the whole thing. I like um, the part where we give the you know the, the all of the the tickets away to the fans. I like when I'm at back in my hometown and seeing you know the house that I grew up in and all that stuff. So I like I like everything about it. Yeah, you like that it's what do you a three like D. Well, I haven't seen it. Have just you seen yet. it yet? No, maybe I need to go out and see this fan cut this weekend. Have you seen it? Have you seen any of it? No. I yeah, don't... I've seen the well, I've seen the previews and all that stuff, but it's rainy and snowy and cold in the Bay Area, so this would be the perfect weekend to get to the movies and see this. Yeah, so you're doing an interview about the movie and you haven't even seen the movie. No, you didn't send me any passes to go see the movie. <laughs> What's the deal? Why don't you hook me up? Well, it's like it's not that expensive. You can just go to the theater and watch it. How you know? I don't make any money. <laughs> Go to the matinee; it's cheaper. Okay, that's All really right. good well, advice. We'll Last question, guys. All right, we'll All check right. it out. The world tour is about to begin too. I just read that you're preparing for that as well. Yeah, we're, we're all ready. We're, we're excited to go out there and be able to perform for the people overseas, and they're all excited too. So, um, yeah. I'm ready. Are you going to hit some countries you've never been to before? Yeah, I haven't been to Italy yet, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, that should be really exciting. I hear the women are beautiful in it. Yeah, maybe you'll hit the, uh, maybe you'll see the Jersey Shore uh, kids over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh, maybe. Maybe. Are you watching Jersey Shore? Uh, not really. I don't really watch TV much. Okay. All right, well, Justin, we will tell everybody to go and check out Never Say Never. The new fan cut version is then in you, theaters. Then you'd be a hypocrite, though. Why? Why, why would I be a hypocrite? Because you haven't you seen it. you haven't seen the movie. Well, I can still tell everybody to go see it, right? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> All right. And it's in 3D as well, so that should make it really, really special. All right, Justin Bieber, thank you so much for spending time with us. All right, you too. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. I'm not sure so, what his problem was. He had attitude. I think part of the problem yeah. was that 
he was on delay because everything was delayed when we were doing it, so I'm not sure. But he was just like attitude. Do you know what's funny about this? Is my mic on? I can no, hardly hear myself. It's not. Oh, is can your you mic? turn his mic on? I, I don't can know. hear you. Hello. I can't hear you. Yeah, that's oh. odd. Yeah, because I can hear you just fine. It sounds like you're on. Check, 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 check. All right, it's recording anyway. But you guys have had him twice, and he was really funny and yeah, really good. Yeah, but he good. wasn't super famous then. He wasn't super yeah. famous. Oh, you think now that's it? Now it's like he's got to make these radio calls, and he's moved on. He's he moved sounded. on to television. He's got Ellen. He's got the NBA All-Star game. He couldn't have cared yeah. less. Within the first 20 seconds, my thought was, we are like his 10th phone interview, maybe 20th oh, of 20th. the day. yeah. And he's just like, okay, I am so done. I don't want to talk about Selena Gomez. I don't want to talk about my new house. I don't want to talk about any of this. Crap. Oh, you got a new house? I'm, yeah, oh, I was, I was gonna, up. I was gonna get to it, but he, he, I mean, he didn't seem like you know. And before I knew, it, I was like, okay, last question, guys. Like the you know the person that breaks in that tells you that well, you need to we, wrap it up. We knew we only had three minutes, and we had already gone five. But he. Uh, he was already disinterested in doing the interview. And then Fernando pissed him off by asking him the Selena Gomez question, which I knew it was going to piss him off. Yeah, but you did the movie stuff first. Yeah, yeah. I know. But you know you that's You went right for the movie, off. which was good. Well, I mean, how much can you say about the movie? It's a movie about, you know, I, I yeah. didn't say, well, why are you getting so defensive? Uh, I'm just I'm telling sorry. people what happened the, the on the The thing about these guys, interview. too, is that they're groomed and groomed. I don't know how much I can take to listen to you in this quality, Jason. Yeah. Your awful quality. Hello? Well, Hello? I think America can hear me, but we just can't hear I each can other. Hear, that's I, that's the weird thing. I don't hear anything that's different. Fine. But anyway, uh-huh. but these guys, you know, they don't have a personality of their own. They're groomed. They're he told did, what to though. say no, and told what to do. No, he was fine. When he first came in there, I really liked Justin. That was the beginning. You said it yourself. I know, but how much can you change to be such a douchebag at the age of 16? I mean, he was a total douchebag to us. Yeah. I mean, you answer, everything was one word. You called us to promote your movie. Mm-hmm. We're doing you a favor. So don't act like a big a-hole. We didn't call you... You right. called us. Exactly. So when we're talking, like, you know, at least engage yourself in a conversation, try to come up with some answers. Yeah, that pisses what? me off. I mean, it pissed me off. It, it's, you seem it's more bull- mad than you're thinking about it. No, no, no. I was mad on the line. You saw I stopped asking questions. I just yeah. let it go. I tried to keep them a little bit longer. Cause Why? Assume, if you're going to be an a hole, I'm trying to get to talk something to out of them. I mean, you know, I, I don't, hey, listen, I don't begrudge you. I don't blame you for, like, just saying, okay, enough. This is, I mean, working. everything is a one word answer. If you can't bring it, then go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. The Bieber is over with you and Gre- Greg. And uh, that Bieber pissed is over. me off. I'm telling you, that pissed me off. He seemed like a really cool kid. And then if you listen to the interview, which are you attaching it to the sideshow today? Or uh, what are you sure, why not? Yeah, okay. Are yeah. you allowed to? I don't know why you wouldn't be allowed to do that. It's just. Wait, well, like, we're supposed to go out. We were supposed to. Here's the backstory. We were supposed to take him live this morning, but they got to me this af- la- yesterday afternoon and said, "Okay, your time is nine fifty-five." And I said, "Well, our show's over. You wanted to go this live. Well, I'll have to record it." You can throw that on the Greg is Right list because I said from the what? beginning I didn't think it would be good to do it live on the first, and you yeah, were like, "Oh goodness. yeah, 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 the live. He'll be great live. He'll be great live." If the, yes, you no, did. I'll Check admit. the email. You absolutely said it. I said I I I said it would be good to take him live because he wanted because I knew he was. Going Going to talk about this movie, and I wanted to be topical. We could say, "Hey, today the movie's opening." Yeah, blah, blah, what blah, if blah. that had run live? Oh my god, I have no idea. <laughs> I, don't I'm, know. I, you know, whatever. It's so but. uncomfortable. Uh. I mean, he might as well got on here and called me fat. Well, the most, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I wish he did because that would have been an interesting. Well, the interview. most uncomfortable part for me was like, and I don't know if he thinks he's joking around, but then he starts yelling at Fernando. You haven't even seen the movie, have yeah, you? Yeah, well, he asked if we'd seen the movie and stuff. It's like, it's not mm. about us seeing the movie. It's about you calling into a show right. and promoting the movie. It's not about two 40-year-old people <laughs> going out <laughs> to see a 16-year-old yeah. backstage. We're not your target audience, a-hole, but we're on a show where we have lots of people who listen who are your target audience, so stop being a jerk and just answer the questions and be funny and nice. You know one of the biggest things? Things ever on our website was Fernando and Greg video of you interviewing Justin Bieber. Right, yeah, and he huge. was cool. He was cool then. He was because it was all new to him. It was all fresh, and it was an amazing experience. And he was still in that mode of I can't believe what's happening to me. This is great. I I'm can't a star. believe what just happened to me. That I, I just sit through some sixteen-year-old smarting off. Now he's just like I'm so bored with this. I don't want to answer these questions. I, I wish I would have said movie. I wish I would have said put your mother on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to teach like you some manners, young man. She needs to slap. Some sense into you. Exactly. She needs to take your cell phone away. I mean, are you kidding me with that? I don't know, dude. I don't know.